So here we are, the Cessna T37 as a freeware in Microsoft Flight Sim. This is the first time I've ever even spawned in with this. So far, it looks pretty cool. I did a tiny bit of research because obviously this isn't, you know, the most popular plane. So it's a little jet trainer, but it's very unique looking. Look at this side-by-side -side setup. When is the last time you saw that in a jet trainer? The model looks, this is freeware, by the way. I'll put a link to the freeware in the description as well. But the model from the outside looks fantastic. I haven't even looked at the inside yet. Rivets, screws, everything looks great for freeware. It's insane. Even the, you can see the turbines moving there. That's actually quite impressive for freeware. So uh, let's go ahead and look inside of this thing. See how this cockpit looks. Actually, not too bad, guys. Look at this. It's actually not too bad. Let's see, do the rudder pedals move? Oh, they do. That's always a good sign. If the rudder pedals aren't even uh, animated, you know it's bad. Okay, there we go. Overall, it's looking pretty good. The textures aren't even bad. Like, look at these seats. Obviously, not something you would want to pay like $30 for, but it's definitely better than some of the payware planes in the sim. Okay, let's see what works. Okay, fuel emergency cutoff. Whoops, don't want to do that because now my engines are going to shut off. Most things that seem, you know, necessary uh, seem to be working. Can we open the canopy? I guess that's a good question. I don't know how. I unlocked it. And then what? I feel like it's possible, but I think I'm just being an idiot. We've looked at the inside. We looked at the outside. The textures look pretty dang good for freeware. And I like the side-by-side -side configuration. It's, it's almost like a little car. But anyway, let's fly this thing. Let's see how it flies. Okay, I'm turning my engine back on because I, I did that fuel cut valve. And uh, let's see how flaps and everything look on the outside. There's 15 degrees of flaps right now. 40 degrees of flaps. Okay, that's pretty aggressive. Do we have any kind of speed brakes? Let's see. Ooh, what was that? Something moved there. Speed brakes do work. That's a pretty cool um, little speed brake me mechanism there. I kind of like that. Look at this. There's also a little flap that opens up, and I guess it just redirects the air to not go straight back as much. That's super interesting. But without further ado, our engine has finally spooled up. Let's see how this thing flies. Here we go. Uh, let me get 15 degrees of flaps here. 60 knots there. 80. Try to rotate. I don't know what the takeoff speed is here. Okay. 90-ish knots for takeoff. There's the landing gear animation. Looks pretty cool, actually. So far, it feels kind of nice. The sound engineering sounds a maybe a little bit weird. Okay, let's get rid of our flaps. And uh, let's do a little test here, guys. Let's see how fast we can go. Let's try to land it on some crazy places. Let's do all of it. This is very cool. This livery is, is very tasteful as well. There's a few other liveries too, but um, we have to pick US Air Force. I'm thoroughly impressed with this so far. I'm going to do a few maneuvers here and just see if it feels weird at all let's try a banking turn here Ooh, okay we can pull six g's in this thing that's kind of impressive yeah this is a very attractive trainer jet as far as trainer jets go they're usually incredibly ugly this thing is awesome i'm saying it right now this thing is awesome feels really good nothing feels too too easy to do too hard to do it feels pretty damn good okay let's slew mode up here to uh maybe 20-ish thousand feet. I want to see how fast we can go. Here we are, 20,000 feet above Area 51. Let's see how fast we can make this thing. Let's do, uh, we'll do zero payload and, and low fuel here. See how fast it can go. Okay, there's 265 knots. So it's, it's not very quick. It's really not very quick, but it's a jet trainer. It's not going to be insanely fast. This is very cool. So there we go. After diving down a little bit, we're at 370-ish knots here. It's super unique, and the textures are really good for a freeware plane. Uh, let's go try to land somewhere dumb with this, though. Okay, and as we do with all planes, new planes, we have to try to take it off at Saba. This should be... I don't think it should be too hard at all. Let's see. Let's do a static takeoff here. 95 knots. Easy. Easy. Incredibly easy. Now let's try to land it, which should be harder, but I can't imagine it's going to be too bad. Let's bank around here and do this uh, approach at Saba. Okay, this is an aggressive approach, but it's what I always do. Let's see. Gear is out. There's 100 knots. 86 knots. Let's go cockpit view here. Speed brakes out. Wow, this thing floats like no other. This thing is so easy to land. That felt very... I'm not going to lie, that felt very nice. That felt good to land. And that was 50% fuel, 50% payload. Okay, before we end this video, I need to do one more thing. Let's try to actually do like a really good landing on this. Uh, since I didn't do a normal landing, let's try to do a normal landing, see what happens. Here we are at a more normal runway length. We're going to see how smooth I can land this thing on uh, our first real landing attempt. That Sable landing was 200 and something feet per 
minute, which isn't bad, but with how this thing floats, I think we can go crazy smooth. It also has, and I don't know what this is. Maybe y'all can, maybe this is, cause look, watch, I'll go full throttle and those little flaps go down. I don't know what those are. They're not part of the speed brakes because when I do speed brakes, that's completely separate, but it's kind of interesting. Okay, let's land this thing. Okay, here we go. First real landing. I'm gonna try to go as smooth as possible here. There's 80 knots, almost idle. There's idle, a little bit of a float here and touchdown that's 88 feet per minute 88 feet per minute i am a-okay with that so in conclusion this plane is absolutely incredibly fun it is definitely worth it if uh if you're on pc and you can get freeware planes i'd pay i'd say this plane is worth 25 bucks if it was an item shop I'll give it 25 bucks. This is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I'll put a link to um, the plane down below. So if you're on PC, you can download it. Unfortunately, you can't get it on Xbox. But yeah, I think it's great.